What has Leonardo DiCaprio, Nicolas Cage, Kanye West, and hundreds of thousands of amputees in Sierra Leone have in common? The Blood Diamonds. The year is 1999, and the devastating Sierra Leonean civil war is at its raging peak. The RUF rebels enter the capital city of Freetown and indiscriminately rape, maim, murder women, children and men of all tribes. 20 years on from January 1999, Melkosh Mission is returning to Freetown in search of the blood diamond victims. Where are they now? We are at the Mile Shaka Amputee Camp where we are sponsoring the children of war victims, the war wounded and the war amputees with their school supplies and um, clothing fees for the year. These are the war victims at the camp and we are here to support them and their children so that they can have a better future and is so incredibly important to bring awareness to a group of people who have been neglected and forgotten and have suffered needlessly over the years. And we are very excited to be able to be here with them today to support them and to support their families. I tell my mommy and thank you. They have to make them and succeed. They have to give them a good way. Now, I didn't have a but I'm going to talk to you. I had wanted to come to Sierra Leone from the time that I was in graduate school. I did a tour uh, through different Holocaust sites in Europe in graduate school. I also went to Cambodia and did an independent research study on the genocide there. And something just struck me about what happened here in Sierra Leone and the brutality of all of it. And since then, I wanted to come to this country. I wanted to see the people and I wanted to work and give back. Uh, I just didn't know what that would look like. I didn't know who I would come with or what I would do or how I would get here. Uh, but here we are today, now more than 10 years later. Thank you for having me here today and very excited to be able to give you some help for this school year. And these bags came 5,000 miles and when I look at all of you, it was worth bringing them across the ocean to be able to help. And thank you, thank you for having me. I think that if you are a human and you have a heart that what these people have experienced is there's nothing worse. There, there's just nothing worse than, than what many of these people have experienced. And wherever you are living in the Western world or a first world country, no matter what your situation is, you can still afford to give. I think part of it is shifting the mindset, not only from thinking, oh, I have to give a lot to have any impact, but also that you don't have enough yourself because I promise if you can afford to live in a first world country, you can afford to give in a way that is maybe seemingly small, but extremely impactful. I'm the kind of person who I, I love to give to those who are suffering. So my initial inclination was to give more to the amputees and to the, the wounded and rape victims. But now I have a better understanding of why we are so focused on education because of how that investment impacts the entire family and the entire community for many years to come. This is a population of people that the majority of the world doesn't know exists. I would argue that many Americans, um, Westerners in general, don't know that Sierra Leone is a country in West Africa. And so there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of education to be done but these people matter. They feel and think just like the rest of you and I. They feel pain, they feel joy, they feel love, and anyone who has a heart for humanity should definitely consider being involved in what we are doing here in this country.
And I can vouch with 100% certainty that all of the money that is donated to Mel Kosh Mission International goes directly to the people. I'm watching it happen in real time. We're exchanging dollars and donations for Leones, and we are handing out every last one of them and, and putting those to good use. So 100%, and I don't know that I've ever heard of another organization that does that.